Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. I welcome you all to this video. We are with chapter 11 of microwave engineering, microwave resonators we have addressing here. So we started this chapter to see the parallel and the resonant type of circuitry corresponding to the series connections also. We have also addressed the open and short circuited conditions with respect to the microwave transmission lines of the length lambda by 2 and lambda by 4 also addressing the quality factors for unloaded and the loaded conditions here. Now we have the waveguides modified to make the cavity resonators by closing the two openings of the waveguide with the help of shorting plates there. So therefore rectangular waveguide has got converted to rectangular cavity resonator and circular waveguide will be correspondingly converted to the circular cavity resonator here. So as in the previous video, we have understanding of the resonant frequency corresponding to rectangular cavity resonator. Let us have a simple problem. So here we have a problem statement. Calculate the resonant frequency of rectangular cavity resonator of dimensions small a is equal to 3 centimeters, small b is equal to 2 centimeters and l is equal to 4 centimeters when the mode of operation is TE101. So this was the problem statement, a very short and straightforward the information is given to us that we have to determine the value of resonant frequency. So this is our question. So fr is to be determined in this particular problem. Now what is given details here that we have a rectangular cavity resonator. So when we talk about this, the schematic diagram should be into the mind that we have such a rectangular cross section and it is running along the third dimensional length like this. So if you talk about the internal cross section, the internal dimensions if you can say. So these are small a by small b here and generally the length of the cavity resonator is mentioned with the symbol small d. Here as per the problem statement we have been mentioned small l here. So small a is the breadth that is the broader dimension of rectangular cross section here. So this value is equal to 3 centimeters. Whereas B is the smaller dimension of inside rectangular cross section. So width is equal to 2 centimeters. Whereas length of the rectangular cavity resonator L is equal to 4 centimeters here. And the mode of operation is equal to TE suffix 101 here. So in general we can regard the mode of operation TE suffix MN also. So let us have the calculation for the resonant frequency. So very first of all we mentioned the given details small a is equal to 3 centimeters can be converted to the SI scales here that it is 3 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 meters whereas b is equal to the width it is 2 centimeters so 2 into 10 raised to power minus 2 meters and the length is given to us the length is denoted by l so it is equal to 4 centimeters and this is equal to we have 4 into 10 raised to power minus 2 meters now to see the three lengths here we have the relation that l is the highest one so b is smaller than a which is smaller than l so this is the relation we see with respect to the dimensions of rectangular cavity resonator. Now the resonant frequency can be denoted by F suffix R and in terms of M, N, P and the dimensions A, B and L we can express the formulation as C by 2 in multiplication to the square bracket that is under square root we shall be mentioning the power 1 by 2 that has the first term small m by a bracket squared 
add it to small n by b bracket squared and it is added to p pi d or l here we take bracket squared the square bracket is completed to the addition of all these bracket squares and the power 1 by 2 to mention the square root here so now as per te suffix m n p we have te suffix 101 to be the operating mode so therefore small m can be 1 here small n can be 0 and small p can be 1 here so substituting the values inside the square bracket along with small c to be the velocity of light inside the air or vacuum free space you can say the constant value is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 here if we prefer the values of dimensions in terms of centimeters so it is 3 into 10 raised to the power 10 centimeters per second here and it is divided by 2 and inside the square bracket we can mention so m is equal to 1 divided by 3 centimeters so it is squared n is equal to 0 so 0 by b square it will be of course 0 and finally we have p is equal to 1 here so 1 divided by l value is 4 centimeters so 1 by 4 is squared and the addition of the 3 is having the power 1 by 2 here so finally we get the value for the resonant frequency computed as 6.25 into 10 raised to the power 9 so as this is the frequency we have to get it represented in terms of hertz here so finally we get the resonant frequency fr by absorbing the multiplicand 10 raised to the power 9 as 6.25 gigahertz so this is the required answer for the problem statement here so this was our problem statement to calculate the resonant frequency for given rectangular cavity resonator with the dimensions a b and l for the operation mode te suffix 101 and now we are successful to determine the resonant frequency value by the next lecture we shall be having again one more problem corresponding to the understandings of rectangular cavity resonator i hope you enjoy learning with the microwave engineering topics and for more such information you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you